Right, everyone, we're here. Right, it's going to be a QA and a today, so it's going to be purely q and A's. So I'm not going to answer any questions that aren't, you know, I'm not going to answer any comments that aren't questions. So stick to questions. There's a one-minute slow-mo between each question, and uh, you can ask as many as you want, but just one at a time, all right? So don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to like, like the uh, stream. And if you ever want to support this channel, whether you're new or old uh, to the channel, I've got a Patreon account, and for $1 a month, you get your name on there. Uh, it looks a bit better on my um, normal videos. And also there's links to Amazon.com, Amazon.co.uk, and Gearbest. If you shop at those websites, I'll get something like 7 to 10% of what you spend if you use my links at no added cost to you, and you can support me that way. So right, right, let's go on to the comments now. Hopefully, I've got some. So, just beware. If I delete your comment, it's nothing personal. It's just, it's only questions today. So, I'm not reading out anything that's not a question. So, Iron Man Spartan said, Toad in the hole or curry for the rest of your life? What kind of curry? Um, yeah, don't answer that. Because <laughs> you won't be able to. Um, right. I think I'd prefer curry. Yeah, curry, I reckon. Um, yeah, I think Toad and the Earl would get a bit too much, a bit too greasy in it with the um, batter and all that. Right, Zed, not Z. Oh, hello, cheeky um, Soviet Slav. You're right, mate. Yeah. Yeah, so only questions today. That's all it is today. Um, Cheeky Soviet Slav said, what's the bullpup gun on the wall? That is called a Chinese model 86S bullpup rifle. I'll show you it quickly. There's a one minute delay between each comment. So there it is there. Deactivated, so don't shoot. Um, burn it. A bit dusty at the minute. The basic internals of that is an AK-47. So, weapons and stuff said, Hi Mike, if you could only pick one knife for a survival situation, which would it be? Well, that's hard. Uh, it would have to be some kind of actual um, survival knife. If it was ones I owned, um, might possibly be this. Uh, I don't know if I'll get it out. I've got a survival knife with all of the um, stuff with it. The only thing is it's not the most reliable thing, but it's got a lot of stuff with it. As you're saying that, probably something like a Mora, so probably not that. Something like a Mora, but possibly with a pouch with it, because I like something that's going to be, um, it's got to have to be very sturdy. Um Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely like to have a knife that's very sturdy, but have other stuff with it. That's that's all I can say, really. None of my knives are properly suited. Maybe, maybe this one. But this is what I'm. This is what I'm carrying in my woods bag right now. So I must have thought this would be good. This still needs a bit of kitting out, though. Maybe this with something in this pouch. Like a lighter or a fire kit in this pouch here. That's not a bad little knife. It's got a flat. You don't need a fire kit. It's got a ferro rod on it. But you know something else with it. Maybe a Swiss Army knife in there. I'm a Spartan. Said um, one seven seven or two two for hunting. Uh, well, I personally, I've always only used two two, but some people reckon one seven seven is better. I think it all depends, don't it? What is it? I think two two hits harder, don't it? But um, one seven seven travels faster and will penetrate deeper. Luke, you're right, mate. Don't waste your comments. There's a minute between each uh, <laughs> comment today, and it's only questions, please. I made. I'll stand for about an hour if I can. 
I must Martin also ask baked beans or peas with chicken dip baked beans I actually had earlier um, the sort of chip things those like lattice things vegetable burger so I try not to eat any meat for my lunch because if I'm drinking tonight I don't want to be eating the meat today the meat is one of the things that can do you the gout stuff um, lattice things some uh, breaded mushrooms a vegetable burger and baked beans what I had today coffee's all cold yeah going back to Liam's one do you know what I don't think I've got at the minute my ideal um survival knife uh, or knife everything I everything if it had to be took I'd want to mod it but put it this way in my bug out bags both of them have mores in them or the more equivalent which is a halter for uh knife yeah some you just want something really reliable really don't you but the thing with the bug out bags i've got other stuff with them to back that up Peaky soviets now i've said what website do you get your guns from well i haven't actually bought any for years and i mean years and years and years but i used to get them from a place called range right limited which was air guns and that springtown supplies or no string town supplies as well that was guns and air rifles and deactivated i've got all of my well actually the majority of my deactivated guns came from a place called worldwide arms limited which still exists oh man spartan said do you like chicken tikka slice yeah yeah i like all that kind of stuff i was having one of liam's favorites the other day now i just pasted it uh liam i just thought if i am um, <laughs> i'd answer that probably um that was that stuff liam said he like coronation chicken tubs yeah i had some of that today not that that's like chicken tikka but uh what well, i've said with your message saying about the live q a is that automated or do you have to paste it in yeah i've just been pasting it in every now and then when i see someone new come in i've pasted it in in case they don't know luke said where did you buy your san renmu gear best mate if you go onto my channel search san renmu you'll find the knife and then if you use that link that's in the description it will take you straight to the knife probably less than a tenner and also when you buy it as long as you've used my link i'll get a percentage of what you spend if you want to do that i must buy it to this gun mark magazine still around you know i'm not sure I've got an old gun mark though, uh, probably eight years old. So it could be. I'll be honest with you, I've not been to a shop that sold, or well, I have, but I've not looked for them for years. So yeah, I don't know. Um, it probably does still exist. I'd imagine it probably does. But yeah, I've got an old gun mark under here. I don't know if you've I don't know if I've ever shown you it before. Yeah, gun mark used to be great. I, got, I had quite a few. Um, I think I got my pump and shotgun out of the back of a gun mark. Z not Z, you're right, mate. You said if you had to choose between one serious illness to have, which would you choose? Um, I'll tell you what, if you can elaborate on that and mention a couple, I'll pick between... I try to think what ones um what ones don't affect you nowadays you know because there were there were serious illnesses before that, that could sort of kill you couldn't there but now there's there are things that were serious illnesses that can be controlled and um like you've never got anything so maybe maybe diabetic and then lose all the weight and then be like i never had it in the first place so yeah <laughs> right cheeky's house said t34 m4 now i've got the if that's guns i can look them up for once but i don't know it might be gas mass but m4 i'll have a look on here quickly it'll be quicker for me as it tanks not guns uh all right let's have a look
I'm just having a look. Right, let's have a look. Oh, um, oh that's a Sherman, the other one, was it? Um, I'll tell you, purely for looks, just how they look, I think I prefer the looks of the T-34, but I've got no real knowledge about it. Right. I must have said ice cream or ice lolly. Ice lolly, definitely. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I think because an ice lolly sort of quenches you first, whereas ice cream doesn't really. Just gonna have a look how many people we've got in the stream. And then Cheeky Slav confirmed it with the tanks. Yeah, yeah. That's I've got no knowledge over either of them. I don't really even know what country they're from. Uh, but having a look at pictures of them. The one I like the look of the most seems to be the T4. They're quite similar, though, aren't they? Yeah, something about the, the, the T34 I like more. Right, T Sam said Glock 17 or Beretta 90. I can answer that one straight away. The Beretta. Yeah, but always like Berettas. I did at one point have a um, a nickel blank firing Beretta 92F. It was absolutely lovely, but um, I got a bit skint and had to sell it. I'm just going to have a quick look in here, uh, show people a picture of it. Well, that's the Beretta Model 92 anyway, if you can see that. People didn't know. Most people on here probably would. I'm a Spartan said meatballs in a tin or hot dogs. You know what? I was looking at a tin of them earlier. When I was trying to decide whether to have beans, I looked at one of them tins you mentioned. I thought, ah, oh, better not. It was probably for the kids. And the one I wanted was the meatballs. I love them um, tinned, tins of meatballs. They're like nothing else. Um, you know, they're not like meatballs you make yourself, are they? They're quite, I don't know what they're made out of. But I, I'm quite weird. I quite like cheap meat. You know, some people don't like cheap meat because they're worried it's going to be made of um, <laughs> lips and feet and and bum holes as they say <laughs> but uh yeah i quite like that sort of cheap meat one of my favorite meats is um chicken roll yeah chicken roll which is reconstituted chicken cut into slices doesn't even taste like chicken but i love it why am i do you prefer blondes or redheads but if i had to pick between them two because i actually prefer uh brunettes or black haired women to be honest uh but I don't know, probably blondes out of them two. Yeah. Not that this really would make much of a difference, but I have sometimes thought, yeah, if I was going to marry a woman, I'd probably marry a woman with black hair. But when the time comes, it probably won't make much difference what the colour hair was. But, um, yeah. Black hair. Women with black hair seem to attract me more out of any. Dicky Slav said, what's the big pistol on your wall? You'll have to tell me where you mean. Because there's a couple that I would describe as quite big up there. Bottom row, is it, on the right? Uh, hang on. That one there. Or that one. I'll describe that and that as quite big. Right, where am I? Do not say if you could have one of the activated guns on your wall fully functional and you didn't need a license, what one would you pick? Uh, that's a good question. I like that. Um, it, it would either be the Chinese Model 86S or the pump action shotgun. Yeah. 
Probably the pump action shotgun at the top, because I think I'd get more use out of that. Uh, you could do a lot of different things with the pump action shotgun, whereas the um, Tony of Model X, yeah, that would be brilliant to be able to have a real version of that, but you're not going to be able to do a lot with it, are you? Whereas the shotgun, you could shoot slugs out of it, or you know, all the different ammunition, you go hunting with it. Yeah, pump action shotgun at the top, I reckon. Cheeky Slav said, the furthest on the right, bottom row. Right, this is a Daisy 2003 35 shot repeater CO2 air gun. It uh, takes CO2, as I mentioned, in the handle there. And it has a 35 shot magazine. And it will shoot as fast as you can pull the trigger. Really, it's a really good concept of a gun. The only thing is, it's not very reliable. It jams a lot. Yeah, that's another good question. I know Spartan like that. I know Spartan said, "Live forever, skint." Or live for just 10 more years and have unlimited funds. Live forever skint. Definitely, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Rather be skint and live forever, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Knowing that you only have 10 years to live, that would be unbearable as well, even if you had um, <laughs> unlimited funds. <laughs> yeah. Live forever skint. I've been doing that for quite a while anyway, so... Wait for some more questions to come in. Copy and paste my little thing again in case anyone uh, new is watching. Right, Callum. Q and A only today. Oh, my Spartan favourite fatty food. Oh God, I don't know. Uh, well, them weird battered chips I was talking about the other day are fatty because they're actually battered potato cooked in lard. So they would be pretty fatty. Um, and they're nice as well. A bit of fried chicken's nice, isn't it? We had fried chicken. I mean, we had like the worst dinner ever the other day. It was fried chicken. <laughs> With the battered potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, I do like those weird... Um, I don't know what they're called. There may be a name somewhere else. You know, some, but other parts of the country may have a name for those things. But yeah, I like them. Battered sausage, nice. Did you blow... Uh, you know, chips. Right, cheeky Soviet South said... Um, only only be allowed to buy DX or only buy air guns. Well, as as of now, how I am now, I would rather buy only air guns because you can get a use out of them. And also now they do some really good replica air guns, like the um, I think it's the M4 um, air gun. That actually looks like a real M4. Really, really good. You right, Marcus? Q&A only today. But I'll change it up a bit. Ollie said, "Who would you rather eat? What would you rather eat? Ten living bees or ten living small birds?" Oh god! I don't know. They're bad to each other, aren't they? Because birds could probably bite your mouth. But well, you have to eat them live, would you? Um, I don't know. Probably the birds. In case I had an allergic reaction to bee stings. <laughs> I'm as much a favourite chocolate bar. You know what? I don't eat a lot of chocolate now, just purely, purely because I never go out and get any. But I used to fucking love marathons or Snickers. I can't believe I just called a Snicker a marathon. <laughs> I can't believe that. Snickers. Fuck me. Just called a Snicker a bloody marathon. 
I don't know where that came from. It goes to show how long I've how long since I bought one. Yeah. Snickers, uh do like um I like any uh chocolates with um nuts in basically. Fucking marathon, I can't believe I said that. I, if I skip anyone's um, comments, it's not. I'm not ignoring anyone. I'm only answering questions today, though. Uh, Matt said, "Pasty crimped on t side or top." Well, top, I'd say, and yeah, yeah, top. All depends what the pasty is as well. If it's a cheap pasty, I sometimes can't stand them. But a, a nice, decent pasty is quite nice. But cheap one, some of the ones we get sometimes are fucking horrible. I have to like smother them in other stuff. Um, yeah, to make them edible. My mouse spark said, "Would you buy a paintball gun, Mike?" Uh I don't know. I thought about it. I nearly did years ago. Oh, if I did, I wouldn't mind getting a paintball gun that looked like a real, um, looked like a real gun. You know, you can get like a good, a good replica one because then you could, it would look good still, but you, and you could um, use it as well though. Yeah, topics nice, Marcus. Questions only if you can help it. Um, King Sam's a weird one here. Get shot in the leg with a 1911 or shot in the arm with a 92F. Uh, probably shot in the arm with the 92F. Because if you get shot in the leg, that could probably cripple you. Uh, at least if you had, even if you had no arm, <laughs> you'd still be able to um, walk around and be quite uh, have a, a reasonably normal life. <laughs> I do like the weird ones. SRS power, you're right, mate. He said, um, have you had lamb and mint pasty? Oh, no. You know what? No, I haven't. I'll have to see if we can get some of them. Funny thing is, we've got lamb for our Sunday dinner tomorrow. But, um, yeah. No, I've never tried that. I, I wouldn't mind. Dead not Z said, what's your favourite type of nut to eat? Uh, standard peanuts. Uh, I do like walnuts, though. Walnuts are quite nice. Um... Any nut that you can re you can open reasonably well, get into it reasonably well, because there are and they don't nearly break your teeth. Um, what's some sort of weird half moon sort of shaped brown ones? Uh, brown on the outside, white nut inside. Brazil nuts is it? Yeah, um, yeah. Don't like if that if Brazil nuts are the ones that you can never get out the bloody shell. They drive me up the bloody wall though. Do. Yeah, because they're not in the shell. I don't like them, but they'd be quite nice. I'm um, not in the um, you get shelled ones. I must Martin said, ripped apart by wolves or beaten to death with hammers. Uh, right, I have to pick. Be honest either one would be just as bad so just because of how bizarre it would be probably ripped apart by wolves the pain probably wouldn't bother you that much because you're going to die anyway isn't you? you know you know you're definitely going to be ripped apart to death <laughs> yeah probably that ripped apart by wolves Dicky Soviet Slav said, said favourite meme. I I quite like the Virgin and Chad memes. They, they always make me laugh. Um, and there's quite a lot of offensive memes that I quite like that I wouldn't be able to mention on here. <laughs> I could point you to the place where I look at them, but I wouldn't be able to tell you what ones. Yeah, I do like the Chad uh, Virgin memes. They're quite funny. They do make me laugh. Matt Collin, scones, scones or scones, scones, I say. Uh, cream or jam first? You got the pasty wrong, Marathon. 
Uh, ear keeps popping. So, um, well, for me, if I was going to make a scone, anything, I'd get it, cut it in half, put the butter on. I would then put the jam on, then the cream. Daryl Appleby said, would you sleep on a hard floor every night with no cushion or blanket for a million quid? Yeah, definitely. I'd, I'd probably regret it, but after a million quid, I could probably get some back surgery to uh, <laughs> sort my fucking back and neck out. But yeah, I think I would. What are you offering? I bet that wouldn't be very nice, would it? Um, one night trying to do that is bad enough. But every night you'd think, yeah, a million quid, count down the next day, yeah. Then there's 64 days to go. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be possible. Oh, Man Spartan said, travel to the moon or bottom of the ocean? Travel to the moon. Marcus said, full on punch in the solar plexus or kick in the balls. You know what? I'd probably rather have the kick in the balls. But if that's where you get hit when you're winding, you can't breathe. Fucking hell. I know the balls is just as bad, but um, that when you get that and you can't even take a breath in that's quite painful isn't it I haven't had that for years right bush crapping I'm just when I date when I said the scone thing that's purely just uh convenience for me I don't care how people do it <laughs> uh, cheeky so excited I've never been able to drink coffee or been able to I'll never be able to drink coffee or never be able to drink fizzy drink you know what Never be able to drink fizzy drinks straight away, and I never drink them anyway. All I really drink is water, coffee, and the occasional bit of booze. Q&A today, if anyone's in, anyone doesn't know. So leave your questions, any questions. I'm not really going to answer anything but that's not questions. I'll, I'll answer people's hellos and that. But yeah, because um, I want to keep this entertaining for people watching it back. Uh, so we're, we'll try and stick to the questions. And I may actually start deleting anything that's not questions soon. Uh, right, where am I? I'm going to ask would you give up all your guns for a real gun license of your choice? A uh, real license gun of your choice? or And a license? Probably not, you know, because of the, what you have to deal with to have the license and that. Yeah, probably not. No, I don't think I would. Um, on a plan. I'm uh, Bush Crap and Marcus. What do you mean? What my name? Because it's highlighted. What that is? Every time someone puts your name, only you can see it. Every time someone puts your name in the in the um. If I if I if I copy and paste bush crap in now exactly from if, if someone puts your name in exactly how it's written, hang on. And then puts it in the um comment to you that will come up um highlighted. Doesn't to me. And then Marcus, if I do yours. I'll come up highlighted to you. It's just it's to know that someone's messaging you. Bush Graffin said, Mike, any channels you watch on YouTube that aren't related to your hobbies you show on your channel? And that's a good one. I uh, will tell you, I go over to my subscription and I'll tell you. Uh, right, off the top of my head, I subscribe to someone called Kay's Good Cooking, which is a woman from up your way, I think. I'll tell you where she's from. I don't know if this how close is this to you. Hillsborough, she's from Hillsborough. You ever heard of Kay's Good Cooking? She's been on the telly, she's been on Harry Hill's show. Um, I watch her, terrible cook, everything she does, she fucks it up. Like everything comes from a council estate. Um, uh, and then I also sub to her son, <laughs> Big Man Lee, because you see him in the videos doing the taste tests. 
he says everything's nice, even if it's burnt and horrible. Um, Ashens, I subbed to Ashens, which is our old retro computer games and stuff like that, and um, reviewing Tat and stuff like that. Um, oh, bollocks, I clicked on the fucking thing. I'll let you know in a second. A couple more. Um, who else? There's not a lot, though. VidIQ I subbed to, which is a channel that helps you get more views. Swearnet, which is the trailer park boys thing, but that's about it really for non sort of weapon survival kind of stuff. Just have a look. Um, yeah, so not, I don't really sub to many people who don't do our kind of stuff. See what other ones come up. No, uh, they're all, yeah, all of the others are, are um. Related to our kind of stuff, yeah. Yeah, Kay's good cooking. Let me just check that is what they still call it. Sometimes they change their names. Um, yeah, this is it. Hang on, I'll go on to one of the videos. They get a lot of um, trolling, though, sadly, uh, which I don't agree with. Um, you know, the people who troll them are um, arseholes, but um, yeah. That that link I've just put on there is a link to one of Casey Cooking's videos. Yeah, then her son is um, Big Man Lee. Yeah, when I put the Marcus one on, Marcus said I put the at, then first initial of the name, and it comes up. Ah, uh, what, when you're writing, yeah. Did... Did Marcus and Bushcraft, when I put your names on, was it highlighted? Marcus said 177 or 22. I prefer 22 personally. Um, yeah. Do you like it, Cheeky Slayer? I'm asked Martin said, Would you like to be a medium, be able to talk to the dead? Uh, if you really could, yeah, I suppose. Um, I don't believe that mediums can anyway, personally. Um, I think they're all sharp. <laughs> no offence if you know anyone who does that. Uh, that's just me. Um, maybe they can. But um, uh, I suppose, yeah, if you definitely could. If, if you really could, yeah, oh, that'd be a good thing to be able to do, wouldn't it? Imagine the things you would really learn. They're not Z said, if you could have one night of a uh, rampant fun... With one woman, who would it be? You know what? That's a hard one. Um, don't know. I've, I've seen some pictures of Gillian Anderson recently that I um, <laughs> quite like the look of her. Who else? Um, I have to look at my Twitter feed. The only place I actually follow any um, women. Right, let me let I'll, I'll have a look. See who's on my Twitter feed. And, uh, who have we got on here? Couple of Babe Station uh, <laughs> women come up. Yeah, that's all I can think of at the minute. Marcus said, "Would would it Beardsman or Cold Cracker Bushcraft?" No, I've not heard of either of them. Is that is that channels or? Let me have a look at them too, and see if I've ever seen them. No, I tell you what. Uh, I'm going to look at pictures of them both and judge them purely on their video, uh, purely on their uh, faces and their beard length. And because Wooded Beardsman's got a slightly longer beard, I'd pick him. <laughs> but they both got decent beards, actually, haven't they? Although I think uh, Cold Cracker Bushcraft looks slightly more friendly. <laughs>
Matt Collins says Marvel or DC. You know what? I don't know enough of which ones it who's in which ones. I don't know what Batman, Spider Man, Superman. I can never remember which ones they're from, and I've not watched enough of the movies to know which ones are in which. So I do like a bit of Batman, Superman. They're on opposite side. They're already on the same. Whichever them two are on. Mark said, great channel. I'll check them out later. Iron Man Spartan. Would you marry and fully serve as a woman of 68 for 68 million quid? Yeah, in 68 seconds, mate. <laughs> yes. Why not? 68 million quid? So for 68 million quid, we could make her look 28. Marcus said, favourite cheese? Um, I like strong cheese. I like mature cheddars, stuff like that. I quite like um, blue vein type cheese. What's that, Stilton? Probably just, I don't eat a lot of cheese though, but when I do, I like the strong stuff. Um, yeah, I reckon a really good extra mature cheddar. Used to be terrible in my house. At one point, all they ever used to buy was like mild cheddar. <laughs> it was terrible stuff. Had no fucking taste. Um, Iron Man's like to like cheese on toast. Yeah, I tell you what though, I haven't had cheese on toast for years because I don't know what's wrong with it. When we got a new grill, the bloody um, the grill don't work. It never lights properly. I don't know if it's got some safety feature on it that we can't work out. So I've not had um, cheese on toast for ages, like I mean years, because we've got no way of doing it at the minute. Yeah, I did used to like a bit of cheese on toast every now and then, but not not too often though. Just because, as I mentioned, I don't, I do like cheese, but I don't eat a lot of it. You know, I could probably go weeks and weeks and weeks without eating cheese. But it's not because I don't like it. It's just I don't know. I just don't bother with it a lot of time. Ben Not Z said, if a rich person offered to buy one of your weapons, money no object, what would you ask? If a rich person, oh, offered to buy you one weapon money no object what do you ask for oh i don't know won't mind a brand gun again that'd be nice uh, yeah brand gun get a brand gun again Re get the best spec uh deactivated because i suppose it's something i've got to legally have um deactivate brand gun so i don't know if you could get an um cocking one still probably not now we're scrapping. If you had to move to another country, where would you go? Well, I thought about it if that this country got so bad, because I would never move unless I had to. But I had to think about it. And the, the options that I could think of, not including like Wales, Scotland, or Ireland, um, would be Australia, Canada, America. Yeah, that's it, I think. Australia, America, Canada. And then I sort of thought, uh, Australia would probably be too hot. Too many things there want to kill you. <laughs> uh, America, yeah, because they've all got to speak English as well. I want to be in a country I can, you know. But if I had to move to a foreign country, I would learn the language straight away. That would be my first priority, learning how to speak language if I was moving there, if they didn't speak English. And then I suppose between Canada and America, I thought Canada, uh, they're still ruled by the Queen. They're still in the Commonwealth, aren't they? Um, yeah. And uh, and it's still close enough to America, though, that you can go there any second. But yeah, that was what I, not that's not a big long thought, but yeah, it'd have to be someone that speaks English definitely straight away. 
I think that's what's a favourite yogurt. Not really a yogurt eater, so any any anything with fruit in it. I must Martin's a favourite childhood toy. Probably He Man toys. I used to love He Man toys. We used to have the whole set of that. You know, Castle Grey Skull and all that. Yeah, I used to love that. But then we also used to have a habit of breaking all our toys, me and Martin. Like they used to like tearing things apart for some reason. I don't know if we wanted to see what was in it. If we noticed there was a bit you could open, that would have to be ripped open. <laughs> yeah, I reckon Canada. Um, gun crime over there is very low, in it? <laughs> I'm asked would you eat a mayo for a donut? You know what, I reckon I would. I reckon I would, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely sick enough to do that. Come on, stop wasting your comments. <laughs> but yeah, Canada does look lovely, and it's close enough to America that though that you could still easily visit seems to from what i've heard have quite a low um gun crime in that still english speaking a lot of them still support the queen and that but yeah it'd be just like home away from home wouldn't it except you can have more guns you know, I don't know what their gun laws are like. They might be about, you know, not as bad as ours, but they may be, you know, everyone thinks in America you can just go and buy a gun um, with no license or anything, which I don't know. Uh, you know. Uh, I must have have you ever tried pickled cockles? Well, yes, I love them, mate. I've, I, um, I'm i quite a big fan of uh, seafood and anything like that. But, yeah, fucking love cockles. I could eat cockles all day, mate. Bush Crappen said, what laws would you change if you were dictator of the UK? Um, that'd be an hard one, you know, uh, Bush Crappen. Because I must admit, some of the laws that we all talk about, I don't mind them. I'd, I'd probably change the... Um, the the knife carry laws make it more specific and make it that you can carry you can carry a knife as long as it's under three inches but it can lock stuff like that um harsher laws for certain offenses any laws um any offenses where people are deliberately trying to maim someone or disfigure them for the rest of their life that would be a proper um 25 years or something or more uh murder would be life in prison or at least 50 years in prison because it's ridiculous now and i wouldn't let you um get a lighter sentence if you was younger the thing is you get these 16 year olds who murder people they can get out in eight years how old would they be 24 you know they've still got their whole entire life out of them yeah um that's a couple yeah what do you think what else can i think of um yeah the way i think is like with our gun laws i don't think that i don't mind our gun laws really because um at least in this country, you don't really have a chance of being shot. Uh, I'd probably lighten those up a little bit. But, um, yeah, <laughs> the ones I mentioned, that's what I could uh, think of off the top of my head quickly. Everyone try and keep to the questions if you can, because it uh, saves me having to sit here in silence. <laughs> 
What's going to happen to if you had to dye your hair a stupid colour? What would it be? Um, definitely not orange. <laughs> uh, don't know. I reckon blue would look quite good, wouldn't it? Blue. Um, let me have a quick look. I'm going to have a look. We'll look at some people's hair. Uh, no, green looks quite good, I think. <laughs> my, one of my brothers likes to dye his hair funny colours. I think he had a colour in it recently. I try to imagine what this kind of how what hair like this would look like. <laughs> Search for that. I want to come back with women with short hair. Yeah, I don't think I could. Um, don't think I'd look right with um, orange hair though. Daryl said, "If you had to live inside a soap opera, which would it be?" Oh, someone asked me this before. I don't. I don't know. I've not watched any trages. Definitely not EastEnders. Definitely not Coronation Street. Definitely not Emmerdale. Hollyoaks, I think. Possibly Hollyoaks. Yeah, off the top of my head, Hollyoaks. Or possibly Neighbours. Does Neighbours have a load of um, people get killed all the time constantly? Can I say anything with Hollyoaks? If you fucking uh, if you went onto Hollyoaks. Um, pretty much everyone in that fucking thing's a, a multiple fucking killer now, but but they'll forget about it. Marcus said, "Do you wish we could go into the woods with an air rifle instead of how it is now?" Yeah, it would be nice to just be able to throw a gun on your back, go down the woods, have a shoot. No one cared. Um, yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? I'm too, you know. I think some places you could still do that, but I, I'd be too paranoid to do that now. Um, but actually, our woods probably. I think our woods you might not even be able to shoot in there. But it's one. Our woods is a weird one. It has a lot of rules that you can't do, but there's no one there who can ever enforce them anyway. And no one's ever been stopped doing anything in there. The only thing they stop people do is riding motorbikes in there, which I can understand that. Because if I suppose if someone rode a motorbike down there that was completely silent and then went really slowly or avoided people walking their dogs, people probably wouldn't care so much. Yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? I Man Spark said, would you rather be bold or grey? Uh, don't know, because I've only ever I've only ever bicked my head once. I've only ever known what it's like to be proper, like bold. Um I do like having a little bit of hair. Um, yeah, probably grey then, so I could still have hair if I wanted it. Daryl said, what are your hopes for the next Red Dwarf? Um, what are your hopes for the next series of Red Dwarf? Well, I'd love to have um, Ace Rimmer back, because even though they sort of finished that, they could they could bring Ace Rimmer back, because he's from so many different dimensions. Any, I'd like to see a bit of Ace Rimmer. I'd like to see them go back to how it was in series, like, I don't know if it was like three, four, five, that kind of stuff. Because um, they've tried to make it more like the original series, haven't they? The really early ones and some of the later ones, where it was a bit more purely in one bit, wasn't it? Um, but no, I'm still enjoying it. Uh Maybe go a bit madder like they did in some of the old ones. Yeah, I would love to see Ace Rimmer back though. He's, a fucking, he's one of my favourite characters. He is. And maybe some sort of um, good gunfight battle would be good. Like them ones. When Lister has to get a bit sort of hard, you know, you know what I mean. Uh. Ken Dillon said, do you own a Deagle? No, I did have a Desert Eagle Blank Fire once, um, three or four years ago, but I sold it. Yeah, I did, but I don't now. 
I think that is the majority of my pistols out there. I've got one or two in other places. I Mass Barton said pizza or burgers for a whole month. Probably pizza because the pizza I can keep changing the toppings. Uh, burger would be too much meat for me, I think. But yeah, you could have a meat pizza and then a vegetable pizza and then a yeah, pizza. Kelly Dylan said, how much is your collection worth? Probably uh, at least, I don't know, three or four thousand pounds, maybe more. Not, I'm not 100% sure on that. Though. I've not had a look for years about um, uh, no, nah, that'd be all right. Then, I think, yeah. Um, Ian said, favourite weapon? Well, I don't know. Probably knuckle dusters, although I haven't got any anymore. Um, it's my icon picture. It's what I was known for. But yeah, I've had to get rid of all of them because they're going to be illegal to own soon. So, um, yeah, knuckle dusters, brass knuckles. Got right, Patrick. Just Q&A today. And there's a long um, gap between the questions so I can answer them. But yeah, all right, mate. Then not Z said, if you had to kill someone, not in a war, how do you think you'd cope mentally with it afterwards? <sighs> I don't know. That's a hard one to say. Um, but I don't think, you, I don't know whether you'd know whether that would bother you. Um, you know, some people may think it wouldn't bother them, and it would. You know, I definitely have got compassion and I definitely have got empathy for people. So I could understand that someone is now dead. I could understand that someone's family has lost a family member. And that would be a pity. But also at the same time, if I was, if I was forced into doing it, I would probably definitely have no regrets. It's different being forced into something, someone making you do something or even doing it in, say, self-defence. I would just constantly tell myself they deserved it sort of thing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, I don't know. But I think possibly I'd be all right, but I don't know. Ken Dillon said, um, please clear this misconception for everyone. Does owning weapons make someone a violent person? Yeah, not at all. That's a good question. I like that, Ken. Yeah, yeah, just owning uh, that is a misconception. People do see this and they think yeah, you're either violent or some kind of nutter. <laughs> but yeah, um, I know loads of us on here that I would, um, I've never thought any of them was violent by the way they act. Most people, you know, it's just, cause I, what, how I try and describe this to people, collecting guns is no different to someone collecting cars or a woman who collects dolls or a collector who collects paintings it's no it's no different really um is it but um but yeah you're right there is a misconception they see that they think you're not a or violent but yeah doesn't mean you're violent at all and i think from people who watch my videos would gather you know you can tell the kind of person i am can't you by um watching my videos so yeah I must Barton said, are you getting legless tonight? <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. Should be getting a bottle of vodka soon. I may even, I'll tell you what I might do tonight. I might do, uh, I might make a video called Cocktails with Weapon Collector. And I'll make a couple of cocktails using, uh, you know, I'll chop up some uh, limes or something like that. I'll see how I am. Um, That'll have to be my first drinks of the night. So, yeah, I'll see how I get on. But I'm, I'm planning to do that anyway. First crap and said, what animal would you be? Um, I've, something that wouldn't get hunted. That's definitely a thing. Um, no, I reckon a dog in a nice family would be good, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah. Because just saying a dog, you never know. But yeah, I reckon most dogs are all right. And a domestic dog, I reckon. Most of them live good lives, don't they?
Like I said, weapons are interesting. That's all. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? You know, they are very they're fascinating things. You can get whole books where you can read loads and loads and loads of stuff about it, you know. But, yeah, to um, someone who doesn't know, they do think, you know, are they violent, are they mad, are they this, are they that. Uh, Ken said, thank you for taking the time to answer my questions. I really appreciate it. I hope you like my questions. That was good, Ken. Ask, ask some more if you want. Got You can ask as many as you like. Marcus said, gin and tonic or vodka and tonic? Gin and tonic every time. Uh, I would drink the gin, but I need to look it up to see whether it can affect gout. Because um, I've had gout before, so now I watch out what I um, drink and eat. Uh, I suspect gin would probably be fine. The other thing is I don't know about the tonic water, though. I don't know if that could. Because so, what I drink at the minute is vodka and water, but I know they're both pure. and There's nothing really in them. So, yeah, I'd have to... Um, I love gin and tonic, though, but I'd have to look it up to see whether that could affect gout. Oh, man Spartan said, would you do a drunk EDC live stream tonight with cocktails? Uh, thing is, I've tried to. Uh, I would do that at first, like the first video, but the problem is I can only do videos in here now. And what I do, I tend to shut down everything and then go out and start drinking. Uh, when I'm out in the thing, I could set up a camera and do a video and then edit it, ed, edit it the next day, but I wouldn't be able to do a live stream. But I would do, but yeah, I tried last time. The problem is my laptop's so old, it's got Vista on it, won't recognise this camera, it will only recognise a VGA camera, which is so low quality you wouldn't barely be able to see anything. Um, but, you know, unless I start the night in here and do the cocktail bit in here, I'm like, ah, but then again, it's only going to be a, like a 10-minute live stream anyway, so probably not worth bothering. Yeah, I'll do it, but I'll do a video of it instead. Um, yeah, cocktails are working better. Hopefully, anyway, I'm planning to. Ken Dillon said, Seneca said, a sword is never a killer. It's a tool in the killer's hands. Do you agree? Yeah, totally, mate, totally. Yeah. You know, it's all inanimate object, isn't it? Uh, it's like with the knife bands they do over here. It's so ridiculous over here that they're going to stop you being able to buy certain knives online and have them delivered to your house. And everyone, a lot of people signed a petition to say that they thought that was ridiculous. But then the government did a reply letter because it got something like over 100,000 signatures. So what the government sent back was pretty much a letter saying, oh, no, some knives would be all right. Uh, and their mentality was pretty much, yeah, some knives would be all right because they're not as dangerous as others. So kitchen knives and bushcraft knives, they'll be all right because they're not as dangerous as um, hunting knives and tactical knives. You know, that's the most stupid fucking thing I've ever heard. So this knife here, somehow that's more dangerous than a great big 12-inch blade razor sharp kitchen knife you know that's what they reckon well they would probably reckon that a great big um great big 12 inch razor sharp kitchen knife is, is less dangerous than that that's the mentality of it in this country it's so ridiculous uh iron man spartan do you think you could do a skydive definitely not nah no um uh well, I don't know if I was, if I was sort of made to, I would. But um, there's, I can't think of any situation where I would pick to do that. Um, you know, if this, my life depended on it, yeah. Um, but for charity or something like that, or um, recreation, no. I most right and said, would you do a video on how to make a prison hit? Yeah, I probably could. I don't, I'd have to think about it first, though, to see whether... Um, what the kind of legalities on that kind of stuff is now, because they're quite weird about certain things now. You have to be careful what you do. Um, but yeah, I don't see why not. Then not Z said, um, what would be your least favourite weapon to own? 
That's a hard one. Uh, what have I looked at and thought, oh, I'd never get that. Um, let me look in here. That's a hard one, so I can't think of any. Hmm. That's very difficult, because the things I wouldn't buy, I've probably never really paid much attention to. Some of those weird um, fantasy knives, yeah, I don't like fantasy knives and that. You know, like the weird, yeah, I don't really like any fantasy type stuff, personally. Um, yeah, that's one thing I'd never buy fantasy type weapons. Mark I said, is that a cold steel tent? Now, I'll tell you what that is, it's not far off, uh, you know, in looks. It's a Muella Tactical Tanto. Yeah, nice, isn't it? This is one of my favourite knives. That's why I had it out. I was expecting, what's your favourite knife? <laughs> yeah, lovely knife. It's all really like this. I'm asked Martin said, Marmite or peanut butter? Uh, I want you to guess this. I want I'm Ann Spartan's next comment to be what he thinks, and I'll tell him whether he's right. Because if you've been listening to all my um, comments, I reckon you'll be able to. Uh, bet, I reckon you'll be able to guess which one it is. Out of marmite and peanut butter. But then I'll tell you which one. <laughs> right, it, put it at the beginning, and then add your next question, so you don't have to wait. Ken Dillon said, have you watched and liked the movie American Sniper? You know what? I've not. Um, that's interesting, yeah. Um, but no, I've not. Um, yeah, it was peanut butter. I know, well. yeah, I fucking love peanut butter. Um, no, I've not seen it, but I've been highly recommended it by multiple people. So, yeah, I, that's a shame what happened to him because he was murdered in the end, wasn't he, by somebody who was trying to help, wasn't he? Marcus said, Tantos are a peg to sharpen. Yeah, I need to do... This one's not too bad, but I do need to... Um, I managed to accidentally stab this tip into something a little bit too hard. So I need to just give that a little bit of a um, profiling to make it proper nice tip again. Good enough still. Um... Ken said, show us your favourite pistol, please. All right, my It changes sometimes, but right now, my current, to use, my favourite um, pistol is this one. My favourite pistol to use is this one because of how much use I can get out of it. Um, and it's this... Uh, what it was now. I think it's a Gamo. Gamo. Oh, what the hell is it? I can't bloody remember now. Yeah, it's a Gamo though. 177 underlever. Um, it's on my channel. If you look up Gamo, you'll soon find it. It's Q and A only today. If anyone's interested, um, I won't be reading out any other um, comments really. Try to try to stick to um questions. Oh man, Spark said, yeah, peanut butter. Norfolk Bushcraft, right, mate. I'll say hello to people, but I won't be chatting. It's all just keep doing um questions today. Uh Peanut, if that's his name, you're right, mate. And G E. All right, mate. I must part and said, um, smooth or crunchy peanut butter. I like crunchy peanut butter. I like both. I don't, I quite like, um, I'm cooking a Chinese and you're lacking a bit of, um, like peanut oil or something. Put a bit of smooth peanut butter in there, in like your rice or something. You can get a bit of a peanut flavor then. It's better than nothing. Yeah, I can't remember what that one is at the, right now. Um, Ken, if that was you who asked that. Um, it's on my channel, though. Funny, I do that quite a lot. I completely forget the names of some of my guns. It's not overly powerful, but because it's underlever and spring, 
I can shoot it all day long as long as I've got pellets. Uh, yeah, Crossman 2-2. Two, two, I'll get to that in a second, actually. Um, I must asked Martin said, would you go to the local news if they wanted gun collectors' views on current laws? Probably not, because I look like the... I, you know, I've come across right to you lot, but I don't know what I'd come across like on, as to a stranger. Especially if they saw my hand tattoo, possibly the way I talk, because you lot know me. Um, I don't know if I'd come across as a bit of a nutter on um, <laughs> on the news, and I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to be on oh, a nutter. Yeah, so I don't know. Um, probably not. So I'd probably end up getting raided the next day. Marcus said, do you like the Crossman 2240? Yeah, I love it. That used to be my favourite gun as well. It probably still is. It's probably my favourite um, gun for power. But the only problem is, is the uh, being CO2. Uh, when you when you run out of CO2, you can't um, shoot it, can you? And um, that's currently what is my problem i ain't got no co2 for it so currently the 2240 can't get shot whereas that little gamo i can shoot that all day long because it's spring but yeah i do love uh the um the 2240 in fact my um twitch uh not my twitch my playstation network name is mike 2240 and sometimes i used to like the old 2240 Norfolk Bushcraft, right, mate? He said, do you smoke right, mate? Never seen you smoking this. No, I gave up about... Um... Well, you know what? That must have been about 2006. So what's that getting on for now? 12 years, I suppose. Yeah, I've probably been giving up. Maybe longer than that, actually. Yeah, no, it's probably longer than that. It's probably 2004. So 14 years ago. Yeah, I've probably been giving up smoking for 14 years. But I did smoke uh, from about the age of eight. By the time I was 12, I was smoking every day and smoking, like, bad stuff, like dog ends. Smoking, like, dog ends, three dog ends at a time that added up to about a fag. Um, yeah. Yeah, I did, and, yeah, or making roll-ups out of dog end backy. Dog end backy, if, if some of the Americans don't know, is um, cigarette end or whatever you'd call it. I don't know. When you put your fag out, when you put your cigarette out. Yeah, don't smoke now. No, I'm glad I don't now. Marcus said, do I, Mass Barton, always keep a low profile role? Yeah. And Mass Barton said, do you ride a bicycle or walk? I walk, mate. But if I had a bike, I would ride it. Um, yeah, I want to get a bike. Just going to check my messages quickly. Uh, someone was supposed to message me around 3 o'clock. All right. Uh, yeah, I would ride a bike if I um if I had one, but I ain't got one. I've got an exercise bike, that's about it. Like I said, noisy too, the two two fours. Yeah, they are quite noisy, aren't they? Yeah. Let me have a look what that guy is that I've got. Um not bloody you know. I get this sort of brain freeze sometimes, I just can't bloody you know, it's a gun I've owned for years and then I can't think what it's called now. I didn't know what it was called. Sure I did. I took, uh, well, that's funny thing is, I thought that's what it was called, and then I thought, yeah, it's Gamo Falcon. Yeah. Gamo Falcon is this gun. It's 177. It's nice and accurate, though. I'll tell you, I can hit quite good with this. Um, I did have a HW45, but I could never get one with the sights with that. I could, I could barely ever hit anything with it. This I can I'm quite accurate with it. The Crossman 2240 I'm quite accurate with it as well. Um yeah. Just nice little underlever. 
As I mentioned, not very powerful, but doesn't need to be. It's just a bit guard and plinking. I'm as Mark said, I know you are twins, but who was born first? You're Mark. I was. I I was born, and I only know this because being a twin, they have to write the exact time down you're born. I don't think they do it on everyone's birth certificate, not the old ones anyway. Um, if you're a twin, they write your time down. So I was born 12.06 at night. Malcolm was born 12.06. 10 he's four minutes younger than me but had i been born like 11 59 we would have been twins with different um day birthdays then wouldn't we i would have been 28th he would have been 29th but yeah same day though yeah 1206 and 1210 something like that marcus said i'll check out the gamo uh mike that's quite an old gun, that. But it's, it's a nice, if you get it second hand, if you can get it second hand cheap enough, I'd recommend buying two of them. Now, I'd recommend that of all old guns. If you can get a couple of, because what I've got two of them, one and one I use for spares. But um, yeah, it's quite old. But if you've got a spare one, if you can get two of them, you've got everything you need then. That's what I've got. I had one before that was broken, and then I managed to buy that one, and then I had all the spare parts then. Oh, I keep getting this weird breathless thing. Like I need to yawn, but it's not. Norfolk Bush Club, uh, club said Honda Cub 90, cheapest chip, no dice. Come on with your question. Stop wasting it on uh, comments that don't mean anything to me. <laughs> so why I just have to sit here not talking? What is a Honda Cub anyway? Motorbike, is it? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, by moped type one. Um... I must oh, Barton said, do you have many pubs in your area? Well, I'll tell you what, at one point, it, just in my village, originally we had Right, I'm just going to count them in my head. Um, eight. Eight in my village at one point, but I think there's probably only five now. Or six. But yeah, there was eight in just our um just our little village of loads, yeah, it's good. You could do a little pub call around our just our village bit. Like even going out the village, going off the hill. That's if you count the pubs and then stuff like the the, the Legion and the football clubs sort of thing. Yeah, they're all bars you can go in. Yeah, eight at one point. In one village. No, nine. Yeah, no, there was nine. There was another one, but that was a bit out of the way. You'd have to go down a really dodgy... Um, I think it was nine, anyway. Go down a dodgy lane that was out of the way. So there was always one you'd probably miss if you did do a pub call. And not he said, when are you putting your horizon on the wall? Uh, it's definitely going to go up there. It's got to go prior to place. The only thing is, because of how it's set up, I've got to try and work out how to get it up there. Once I've stopped using it quite so much, yeah, it'll go here eventually. It's a bit bigger than that one, though, isn't it? <laughs> it's sure it needs a bit of adjusting. Sticks down, sticks up. But it's definitely going to go up there. I'll work it out eventually. They don't look too bad now, does it? If I just if I just bend them hooks down a bit, that'd be done. Norfolk Bushcraft have you ever had a punch up with Mount? Yeah, loads of times. Not since we've been over the age of twenty one though. Um when we stopped drinking. But yeah, it, in fact it got so bad that we when we were at school we couldn't be in the same class in secondary school. They had to put us in different classes. 
we didn't dislike each other. It's just we would argue a lot, and then that would turn into a fight. Um, so in school, we had to be in separate classes. And then if when we started drinking, we would have to um, either drink in separate groups, or it was all right when we was in a group, but when we had to walk home together, we would start fighting each other. So one would have to wait at the bus stop. It was like the only place you could sit down. While the other one walked up the hill or walked home. So, or one would have to walk the other way up through the woods and through the tunnel. Um, yeah, stuff like that. So we couldn't even walk home together. Otherwise, we'd end up fighting. Yeah, and then used to get to the stage of sometimes where I used to just go to sleep. Like, well, there was a gravestone down the bottom of the hill. I'd go to sleep down the gravestone for a couple of hours and then walk home. Marcus said steak or chicken? Steak, definitely. Why am I smart? Do you like toffee apples? You know what? I ain't had a toffee apple since I was a kid, I reckon. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know if I like them. I think I remember liking it when I was a kid, though, yeah. Rita Smith said, when you did weights, Mike, did you ever get stretch marks from your workouts? Tell you what, I have got stretch marks on my arms. I don't know if that was from the, um, and if you can see that, one. I don't know if that's from the weights or not. The, it might have just been from when I put on weight, but I have got um, stretch marks on my arms here and down here, especially on my stomach there, but that's from my gut. But yeah, I have got stretch marks on my arms, so yeah, it could be. I don't know if you can see them on there or not. But yeah, I have, but I don't know whether that's from just the weight. Or um, it could be um, weights. I'll stay on for another 15 minutes. Um, just so that if anyone wants to watch this afterwards, it's still a sort of um, bearable length. <laughs> if it's three hours, no one wants to watch it. So, yeah, you've got about 13 minutes to get your questions in. Go for half three. Still got some other stuff to do today. I won't be on tonight as well, if anyone wondered. But I might do a video later. I am asked Martin said, do you like making fires with a bow? Do you know what? I never have. I never have. I have tried friction. Well, no, I'm saying that. No, I think I have tried it once. So do I like making fires with a bow? Not really. <laughs> Mark has said, favourite Christmas song. Quite like um, The Darkness is one. Don't let the bells end. And they've got a B-side to that, which is good as well. I also like... There's a couple of um, Madness B-side Christmas songs as well that I like. Uh, but they're, they've never been released. Or they've got b side so they've never in the charts or anything. Not, not many people know about them. Tell you what, let me go on to my... I've got a playlist that I have at Christmas on here. I'll tell you what's on my Christmas playlist, what I think. Oh, I'll tell you what I do. Like... Um, Flying Pickets, Only You. That's quite good. That's a Christmas song. Although it's not very Christmassy, but it is. they do class it as a Christmas song. I think it was Christmas number one. All right, let me get my playlist and I'll tell you. I should have a playlist of Christmas songs. Right. Where is it? Come on. Christmas songs. Uh, yeah, the Pogues, Fair Town, New York, that's all right. Uh, there, there's some of the classics, you know, like Wizard and Slade. I do like them. Um, yeah, that's about it. Really Stop the Cavalry. That's quite good. I 
I must have answered, have you ever made a wood burning stove? Only that little one I made. Do you remember that little thing I made recently? Um, yeah. Yeah, last question for Wham's all right. I like that was on that list. Yeah, that was on that um that was on my um Christmas playlist. Yeah, the only wood burn stove I've ever made was that little one I made recently that was a fold up one that you would take with you. But if someone mentioned it, it might be better off getting all the um non stick off of it, the Teflon off it first. Ben up said, do you like Jasper Carrot's Magic Roundabout piss take? B-side on Funky Mobile. No, I've never heard of that. I'll have to have a look, look that up then. I do like Jasper Carrot, though. He ought to go back into comedy. He may, he may do it, for all I know. I don't know what he does now, apart from the last thing I know he did was um, Golden Balls, wasn't it? But he probably, he might. a lot of them, like, they do stuff behind the scenes now, don't they? Or they produce stuff or write stuff. Iron Man Spartan said, is your workshop vice made by an English company called Record? You know what? I'd have to have a look another day at that, but it might be. Um, do it, Robertson said. Do a bit of hunting, Mark. It would be a good video or fishing. Cheers, buddy. I'll look into that. I'll, the thing is, I would do it, but um, it's just getting time to do it. It's just a QA and a today, tonight. We're not going to do, or today, we're not going to be doing a lot of chatting. And I'm only on for another eight minutes. So if you want your comments, uh, your, yeah, if you want your questions done, get them in quickly. Thought I'd do something different today than our, than our um, general chat, which I like doing, but um, I just thought I'd do something different, see what, um, see what it works like. It's not too bad. This will be a bit easier to watch back for other people. But it's all just questions. Yeah, I'll check that out. I must have said, are you right, left, or ambidextrous? Um, ambi-handed. Uh, all depends, actually. I write with my right. Uh, but there are some things I can do with both. I, I can saw wood with both hands. Um, a lot of stuff in the shed, I'll do one hand and then I'll do the other hand when the one gets tired. Um, yeah, I can cut wood with both hands, stuff like that. But writing is one, shooting is one. Yeah, all right-handed. I'm right-handed, dominantly right-handed. But yeah, there are some things I can do with both. Come on, ask your questions, I said. Don't make me sit here just in silence. The only one asking them's uh <laughs> I'm at Spartan. Nah, I'm joking. Because the problem is there's a one minute delay, so every time you put a comment on, you've got to wait a minute till you put another one on. That was deliberate though, trying to uh, avoid the chatting. It's only for today. I may not ever do this type of video ever again unless people request it. I'm Mouse Button. I've never seen you in a hooded sweatshirt. Do you like them? Been a bit too hot lately, mate. But yeah, no, I don't mind them. It does restrict your um I don't like wearing the hoods though because it restricts your view when you're out. But I don't mind them. This one's good. I've had this for years. But, um yeah. If it's cold or something, it is um I do like a hoodie, but I don't wear them very often. I've only got one as well. 
Then not he said, "What's your greatest ambition?" Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you what. I wouldn't mind getting hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. That would be good. Or um, get popular enough to sort of make a living from it. It would have to be from Patreon and that. Yeah, uh, that's something I'd have. I thought, yeah, I'd like to get, get that. Um, yeah, I think hundred a hundred thousand subscribers at least. <laughs> You know, I'd like more than that, but yeah, no, that'd be that would be something I'd like to do. Um, greatest ambition, I don't know. Must not have many ambitions. <laughs> Live to hundred. That'd <laughs> be good. I wouldn't mind doing that, at least as well. Mark Bradley said, "Favorite war film." Uh you know what? I quite like Apocalypse Now of Redux. That's good. Which is the long version. I do like that film. Um, Platoon's good, though. I can't think of any top by head. Zulu. <laughs> I must Martin said, would, would you wear Jesus sandals? Never in life, mate. Never in life. I, mean, I never have. <laughs> I think two bits of footwear I'd wear. Trainers. And boots. <laughs> no, I couldn't. Um, only because I just I don't know. I just I like my feet to feel protected, as I've as I've just shown you there. Even indoors, I wear shoes. Uh, yeah, pretty much the only time I take my shoes off is when I am um, either if I'm having a relax and I'm sick of wearing them, going to bed or I'm um, having a you know go to the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, where am I? I'm, uh, I'm asked Martin, said, would you and Mark hunt a small animal skin and gun and cook it? Or for a video? Yeah, we'll have to see if we can do that. Um, I've done that before and he's definitely done it, yeah. Um, rabbits and squirrels, yeah, and I've kept the skin. I used to keep rabbit skins. I had loads of them and sold them. Um, yeah, gut it and cook it, yeah. I used to, in our shed, we used to have loads of bloody skins stretched across boards with, um, salt all over them. No, not he said okay someone has to ask it what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow yeah african or european <laughs> i can't remember the answer to that now but i know that's from um monty python and holy grail isn't it stuart robinson all flip-flops must fucking hang <laughs> yeah never in life mate you wouldn't see me wearing them i'll tell you not enough protection of your feet Who was it who said they wear them? Someone did mention they wear them. Well, I'm a Spartan is a Spartan, so he must be wearing them. <laughs> All right, one more minute, so get your questions in quick. As quick as you can, as there's a one-minute bloody delay. So, that'll teach you. <laughs> Right, these will be the last lot of questions now. I must want to does your father or uncles like weapons? Uh, yeah, my dad does, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, he does. That's probably where I've got my... Not to the degree of me and Malcolm, but, um, yeah, he does, and so does my other... One of my other brothers. Uncles, eh, sort of, I suppose. Some I uh, know uncles. My actual uncles, no, but some of my cousins do. Like some of my uncle's kids do, definitely. That may be through me. Um, Marcus said Indian or Chinese? Chinese, definitely Chinese. <laughs> They're not as easy as Crocs or slippers. They're bad to each other, aren't they? Whichever one is mostly secure around your foot. So I don't know. Probably Crocs if I had to pick the two, because slippers, they sort of slip off your feet, don't they? <laughs> Right, 
I'll give you all a chance to put one more in if they come within uh, 15, 31 minutes. I'll, um, I'll answer them. If not, that'll be it. So you may have time, you may not. My oh, man, Spartan, a great stream, Mike, makes a change. Good, you know, I thought it was good. I pretty, you did some good comments today. I like that. Uh, questions, I mean. Yeah, it's good. I just thought it'd be something different, wouldn't it? Quick fire, quick fire, just weird questions. Um, it's something different, isn't it? Because we can have the, the chats in the evening. We'll always do that. But, um, yeah, it's nice to do something a bit different. Because that's the thing. See, like Liam's chats, they're like this anyway. His chats are like question, 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 question. That's just how his work without him even trying you know this is how it works but mine tend to be us all having long conversations which again i like but nice to change it up because this would this would probably be better for someone else watching afterwards you know what i mean right thank you all for watching and joining i appreciate that you all did some really good um questions and um i enjoyed that it's well worth doing i probably will do it again but it won't be i won't change our evening chats i won't be on tonight yeah, it was good, wasn't it, Zed Not Z? So I'm just going to have a look at who's in. But Iron Man, Spartan, Marcus, and Zed Not Z. That's all that seemed to be on at the minute. Stuart, if you're on, Marcus. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for joining in. I'll see you all. I might do a, that cocktail video later. Um, I don't know if it'll be on tonight or not. Yeah, I'll smoke while I was going on. All right. See you later.